We're back out of Bushcraft Ridge with a can of white spray paint and a cheap $10 compass that I got from Amazon. Let's see if what kind of compass this is. Sport Near. Um, so you guys might remember when we were out here and I had the light pack and the white 550 cord spool and started up with uh, the right side of my land over there and marked out the first like couple hundred feet because I could see I had line of sight to the next flag which is somewhere in there I'm not sure where but this other side it goes straight up through there for I don't know like a thousand feet and there's no pins in between so I asked the surveyor to give me the azimuth from that point and what we're gonna do oh glad the tire made it over that <laughs> so what we're gonna do uh, is do some basic land navigation um, I'm not going to teach like a whole class on this, but a circle is 360 degrees, right? So depending on where you are on the earth, if you know your azimuth, right? See the compass spins and there are 360. You see north is 360 or zero east, southwest in 90 degree increments. And in this compass, whenever you sight something, you look in there and you can see the azimuth that you're looking at. So like if we look at that tree right there, I would have to look at the number, it's like 200, right? So if I were trying to shoot an azimuth at 200, deg 200 degrees, for a thousand feet, I could just put my compass down, walk to that tree, mark it, then get on the other side of that tree, sight down again, and keep going. So that's what I'm going to do, marking trees with a white X to find the left side, or um, <laughs> I guess I should say the south side border of my property. All right, I'll check back in when we have some X's marked. So I got, a, I got a trail blazed, and by blazed I just mean marked with white spray paint. So you see my pin is right here. And then I shot an azimuth of 229 degrees. And then I just walked from tree to tree. So you see where I hit this first one right here? With some spray paint. Let's see if I can zoom in and see where that next one is. I see it with my, yeah, that's it right there. See, white spray paint on that one. And then if you look behind that through the trees, uh, I think we're gonna have to walk up there. Anyway, like I said, this, this side is like a thousand feet. And it got, it started getting really <laughs> steep. See, there's the white spray paint on that one. And I'm gonna walk around this stuff so you can see where the next one is. See it right up there. There it is. And then there's another one further up, up there that I don't know if you can see, but let's, let's go back here. And again, you just shoot your azimuth. You can't walk all over like I'm doing now. You have to stay on your course. So you side in, there it is. See right there? You can't walk all around like I am. You have to stay on a straight path. I'm just moving around stuff because I have the camera. Stuff that I couldn't 
walk through with the camera. So then here's this tree. And then from here, 229 took us to, see we start going up the hill there. If you can see that back there, sorry if I'm breathing hard, I just ran over the entire woods. There's that one. And then you actually might be able to see the one behind it back there. So I shot one more after that. And then <clears throat> my surveyor showed up and uh, had to talk with him for a little while. But I think I might actually be able to cut a path. There's enough small stuff here. Um, I might be able to cut a path over this relatively even slope to get to the top. Because where I am right now on the other side, it gets too steep. I climbed up it, up it just a second ago. But you see the, the forerunner over there? That's my path I've been cutting and that you guys saw me cut um, two weeks ago. I didn't come out last weekend. And then this past week, I was in Wyoming for work. So this is my first weekend getting back out here and playing around. So anyways, I am just going to keep shooting these azimuths until I get to the top pin. I could actually go to the top pin, shoot the back azimuth, and come down. Uh, because he has a couple up there. That back azimuth will be... Where am I? There we go. That back azimuth will be 229 minus 180. Remember I told you guys that earlier? 360 in a circle. Anyways decide what I do next and then check back in. And after three hours of hard chopping, which I didn't film this time because I didn't feel like editing it, you guys saw me cut the other trail. This um, I just followed on my side of the line that I blazed and cut this trail. You see there was my pen back there. That was the first white tree. Cleared all the brush here. Remember, it's smaller than wrist size, and I mean, I go a little bit either way. Like, but if it's if it's wrist size or smaller, I'll cut it. It actually helps the older trees to survive. So you'll see, there's my next white blaze line, and then coming up on the next white blaze line. But I've got this big tree here that's down, that broke off right there, that I need to pull out, and I'm sure if I, yeah, see it's even broken right there, I could lift up on it a little bit and get some more of it out, but anyways, cut this trail here, okay, that's our next white line, and continue on up, remember when we walked this before, well, remember, for me it was hours ago, for you it was Right before I turned this clip off, I think, we walked up here. And then, so I cleared all the way to that next white line, which is right there. Okay. And then we'll just keep going up on that azimuth another day. And then we should get a trail we can drive all the way up here once that log's out of the way. And just like I did the other side, I have my bag of white 550 cord with me. I'm just going to tie it off and then show you guys what it looks like. Here, We're going to stop right here for now. Um, I want to do some more clearing before I get... See, there's our next white mark. That's actually the last white mark we made today but I want to clear the trail there before I keep extending my line. So we're going to stop here for today. But just to show you, we shot a pretty straight azimuth. Like looking back along the line, sometimes it's hard to tell. Um, 
unless you actually see like sight down the line like I, I think we got off a little bit there but we're pretty close um, when we get all the way to the top whoa. <laughs> when we get all the way to the pin at the top or if I go to the pin at the top and um, sight take my reverse azimuth 229 minus 180 um, can anybody do that in their head real quick <clears throat> 49, 229 minus 180, 20, I don't know, I'm really tired, if 49 is right, I'm awesome, if it's not, you can call me an idiot in the comments, but, uh, pretty tired from cutting this trail, <laughs> yeah, oh. Oh. and we went down, right onto my can of spray paint. Oh, I tripped on some barbed wire. I'm slowly trying to get that cleaned up. Fessler, oh man, who, so somebody, and I don't have my gloves on so I can't grab this, but I tripped on this barbed wire. I mean, it's pretty steep here anyway, but. Let's uh, try to bend this out of the way. Need to get some pliers and come back here, like some really good leather gloves and pliers. And I got a big wad of it up that I carried out already. Um, I wish I could give a shout out to who I made fun of for falling. His name was Fessler. He's on a channel that's like a hike, outdoors, hiking, something or other. And he did like, he had on this heavy pack and he did a backflip off of this uh, rock he was trying to climb up on. And it was hilarious. I mean, I, I, it, it could have been a really bad fall. But um, I said I was glad he's okay, but it was indeed hilarious. So I guess I will um, play this over and over again in slow-mo so that everybody can make fun of me. It wasn't bad, I just kind of tripped on that barbed wire and my feet went out from under me and I slid and landed on my hip. <laughs> on my pocket of spray paint. But yeah, so we've got, we got a good start here. Uh, like I said, this side is about a thousand feet. So, uh, <laughs> I don't think we're that far yet. Um... I want to show you guys my new knife. I want to do the part two of the knife video, so I'll probably, that's why I'm stopping here for now. And we're back to the point. And see, I don't know if you can see, but my, my line's pretty straight. I mean, it's got a little bit of zigzag in it, but just, just minutely, really. So, now we've got that trail going in, and I saw a lot of good camping spots back there. We have this trail going in, and then there's my line over there, up that side. And then this deer stand in these huge tulip poplars, um, that was uh, the guy who owned this land before, that was his. So I guess now, by rights, it's mine. And I also found another one up top. So <laughs> I have two deer stands. Maybe I'll use them for something. Um, just like, I don't know. Those, these big stands of tulip poplars right here would be a really cool place to do a primitive shelter. But it's like right here around the easement that still needs to be cleared up. And right the, the neighbor's land is right over there and he's got like a shed and he parks his boat back here that's why i like to get deeper in but maybe it's like a base camp you know maybe i could build something um like sort of like a grand entrance yeah that's cool it might be like a grand entrance i could clear this whole front part and then like do some little setup thing there 
All right, guys, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share, do whatever you do, and I'll see you on the ridge. Thank you.